women's soccer team returning to the Landmore Conference title game. They'll hold it this weekend. It's the fourth time, but this is the first time the Greyhounds will enter the championship as a top seed, which means they will get a home game and they will be looking for their first conference title. Moravian advanced to the championship yesterday with a win over Juniata College. Leah Kosi has those highlights. Moravian not only looking to make it to the championship yesterday, the Lady Greyhounds also wanting to avenge their only conference loss this season, playing Juniata College at the Hub Quad. 15 and a half minutes into the first, Moravian senior Tracy Fitzpatrick moves the ball downfield and watches she makes a beautiful pass to Ali Valdeterra. The junior forward strikes and scores her sixth goal this season, giving Moravian a one nothing lead. With just two minutes to go, Juniata responds on their third corner kick. Eagle junior and banger grad Sarah Ruggiero almost ties it up, but ground keeper Caitlin Corrigan comes up with the save, recording three in the first 45 minutes to reach a milestone, 302 career saves. Moravian leads 1-0 at half. In the second, Juniata will try desperately to tie it up, but Corrigan is unstoppable, denying Caitlin Bigelow here for one of six saves in the game, while the Greyhounds offense continues to make plays. In the 63rd minute, Kim Gogol gets ahead on a Juniata goal kick over to Fitzpatrick, who feeds it to Ariel Caldas. The freshman fires across the box, scoring her 10th goal this year. For the rest of the game, Moravian continues to dominate on defense, with Corrigan posting her 33rd shutout and 50th career win by game's end. The Greyhounds top the Eagles 2-0 advancing to the championship. Next up, second seeded Catholic University of America this Saturday. It's definitely a good win for us. Um, we're going to the finals again, which we did last year, but we didn't pull out with the win, so hopefully this year we can. How bad did you want to avenge that earlier loss? Terribly. I mean, we've been talking about that loss for a long time. It's our only conference loss, so it's definitely a big part of the motivation today. Now you guys are moving on to the championship. What is that like for you? I can't wait to get back there, and you know, hopefully we're on our field this time, so maybe the score will be different. Almost every other sport is over, so we should have a big crowd, and we're really excited. You, you think that does give you an advantage? Definitely. We need to just continue to play to where we are. I think we've won four or five straight games once we've got a couple people back. Um, our back line has played tremendous. We have two seniors back there, KK and uh, Allie Frisella, and then two freshmen have stepped in when we lost two other players, um, Diana and Libby. And if we can continue to play defensively the way we have, um, our good players in the attack are definitely going to score goals. We expect to have Caitlin in the cage again. Oh, absolutely. She's played almost every game in four years, so it's not like I'm going to take her out now. The Greyhounds will return to the Hub Quad this Saturday for the championship. Game time is set for 1 o'clock. In Bethlehem, Leah Kosi, 2 Sports.